All right, I am a jalapeno fan, but I don't necessarily like all the heat that sometimes comes with them. That's the thing about jalapenos is sometimes are really hot, sometimes are fairly mild. But the way that I've found that you can really enjoy that jalapeno flavor is by eating pickled jalapenos. So today we're gonna make some quick pickled jalapenos with garlic that are gonna be fantastic. So these are quick pickled, which means they're not for long-term storage out of the refrigerator. These will last about a month or two in a refrigerator, but honestly, they're gonna be gone before then because they are so good. And the process is super simple. It's gonna take maybe 20 minutes to do all of this. First, let's start cutting our ingredients. Let's get the garlic out of the way. We're gonna do about six medium to small cloves of garlic, and I like to slice them. First, we're gonna take any of the ends off that have that little hard bit. And then I'm just gonna start slicing them. They don't need to be super thin. You can even use crushed garlic if you want it or smash these. I just like the slices better. Just gonna get all of these done. Again, they don't have to be super thin. They can be thick if you want. And this recipe is something that you can totally customize by adding other flavors in the brine solution we're gonna be making. You can also make this even less hot by adding more sugar when we get to that stage or less sugar if you want it to be more hot. Get our garlic out of the way. Now for our jalapenos. What I'm gonna do with these is take the stem off. I'm gonna discard that. And we're just gonna slice these into rounds. I don't know, maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. Seeds and all. I'm doing eight jalapenos here. We'll see if we can fit all these in the jar. There we go, a whole bunch of jalapeno slices. Let's get these pickled up. So I have my saucepan on my induction burner out here just so we can see it more easily. And first thing I'm gonna add is one cup of water. Next comes one cup of white vinegar. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of sugar here because I do wanna mellow the heat a little bit. You can go one tablespoon, it'll be more heat, or you can go three, it'll be even less heat. The sugar really helps mellow the heat, I've found out. We're also gonna add one tablespoon of kosher salt. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. Got those bubbles forming, we're almost there. All right, we are at a boil. We're gonna add our garlic and our jalapenos, give it a stir, and then we're gonna kill the heat. Jalapenos in here. There's a nice stir. Everybody covered. We got a lot of jalapenos in here. We'll see how many make it into the jar. We're gonna kill the heat right now. If you're doing this on the stove, just turn off the burner. And I'm gonna let this sit for probably about 10 minutes, just sort of cooling off a little bit. And then we'll move on to getting these into our jar. So here is the jar I'm gonna be using. Uh, went ahead and cleaned this thoroughly. And that's something you wanna do. It's especially important if you're gonna be doing something like this for canning, for preservation. I'm gonna be doing this and keeping this in the refrigerator. So this is a quick pickling method, not for long-term preservation, but still, you wanna clean this thoroughly, hot water, soap, rinse it really well, run it through the dishwasher, get it sterilized as good as you possibly can. Now I'm gonna start adding my jalapenos here first. And I think we should be able to fit everybody in here. It's a pretty big jar. I know some people like to pickle the whole jalapenos. I don't really care for that. I prefer the rounds. You could also use this for other peppers, habaneros, serranos, shishito peppers. When I get down to the end here, I'm gonna use a slotted spoon to get the garlic pieces. All this good garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that brining solution from the pot over our jalapenos and garlic here. Now, before we put the lid on, let's get a taste. It's only been about 10 minutes in the brine. They've mellowed a bit, still have a little bit of a kick. I got some watering eyes here, but tastes fantastic. 
And over the next several days, these are gonna get even better in this brine solution. I'm gonna get my lid on now. And there we have it, pickled jalapenos. So if you wanna do something like pickled jalapenos or other peppers, which are great toppings for burgers, for pizza, for hot dogs. This is how simple it is to do the quick pickling method that you're gonna keep in the refrigerator. Pick your favorite pepper, make your brine, and you're gonna have this. It's gonna last you a month or two, but they're gonna be gone within a week or two. At least I know these will be.